Hey guys, it's Alicia. Today I thought I would show you how I make this simple, quick and easy broccoli salad that I think is just perfect for summertime. I think it makes a great side for barbecue or whatever you want to have it with. But it comes together in just minutes and I absolutely love this one. So let me show you real quick what you're going to need to make it. So for the ingredients, first off you're going to need some broccoli. I have got about eight cups there, maybe eight and a half. And I washed that really well, chopped it up, and then I threw mine in my salad spinner to try and get as much moisture off of it as I could because you don't want it to have a whole lot of moisture on it, but you obviously want to wash it really well. So you can either wash it and then let it kind of drain for a while or like I said, I did just throw it in a salad spinner. That works pretty well to get most of the moisture off of it. So next up down here, I've got about a half of a large bell pepper. Between the two, I've got a little bit of red and a little bit of orange, but like I said, about half of a large bell pepper chopped up. And there is a small red onion chopped up. I'm gonna be using a quarter cup of sunflower seeds or kernels. You can use walnuts, pecans, different type of nut if you want. And then I'm gonna be using about a half cup of these real bacon bits. You could also use real bacon. I just find that a whole lot easier and I don't have bacon on hand most of the time. And then here I'm gonna be using about a half cup of these 50% less sugar dried cranberries. You could use raisins or something else if you didn't wanna use cranberries. And then for sweetener, I'm gonna be using a couple tablespoons of this Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. Down here I've got three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna be using a third cup of this light Duke's mayo, and then two third cup of the non-fat plain Greek yogurt. And then finally I'm gonna be using a little bit of fresh ground black pepper and just a little bit of salt. And that is everything that's gonna be in this. So first thing I'm gonna do is get my dressing for this going, and that's gonna just start with third cup light mayo and two third cup fat free Greek yogurt, three tablespoons apple cider vinegar and two tablespoons of that monk fruit sweetener, just a little bit of fresh ground black pepper and this is totally to taste. Then I'm going to add just a pinch of salt because I don't want it too salty and you can always add salt later to your individual servings. And so now I'm going to just whip all of this together. Okay, so now I'm gonna just set this aside. So in a pretty large bowl here, just to make my life easier, I could actually mix everything together in my glass bowl here, but I want it to be not so uh, tricky to get that stirred together. So in this big bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and dump in all my broccoli, my bell pepper and onion, half cup dried cranberries, half cup bacon bits, quarter cup sunflower seeds, and then I'm gonna just pour my dressing over the top of this. And then I'm gonna just mix all this together. And now that I've got this all mixed together, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it back to my glass bowl. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and cover this and refrigerate it for a good couple hours up to like four, even overnight. The longer you let this sit, the more it gets a chance to kind of all marry together, all those flavors and that dressing to kind of soak into everything. So you want to definitely let it sit a good couple hours before you, before you eat it. But I will be back here in a few hours to show you what a serving size is and the points. Okay, I let this sit probably about three hours. And as I said before, the longer you let it sit, the better really. So if you can let it sit for even like 24 hours, it's gonna taste the best at that point. But anyway, I let it sit for three. And this is a serving of that. It makes about six one and a half cup servings, roughly. And for me, that is four points which I think this is definitely worth every bit of those four points. That sweet tangy dressing paired with the saltiness of the bacon and the sunflower seeds and then the tart cranberries. Then you've got your crunchy fresh broccoli and bell peppers, everything all together. This stuff is just so good. I love the flavor combination. 
in this. And it's definitely one of my favorite ways to eat broccoli. I would think that even if you didn't like broccoli, you might still like this salad. It's just that good. And there's so many flavors going on in this that you're not necessarily focused on the broccoli aspect of it. But anyway, really good stuff and really easy make ahead salad for, like I said, barbecues, potlucks, whatever, or just to eat. All right, guys, that was my quick and easy broccoli salad. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you on the next one.